Well, you guys, today we're going to be taking a look at how to protect your Windows computer with this one simple trick. It's pretty easy to do, and I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. Now, every Windows user should be using this method to protect their computer from uh, malicious programs, uh, junkware, and also malware and stuff like that. Now, it's not 100% foolproof, but it's a very good start to protecting your computer security and uh, stopping you from getting infected. So click the start button and then go to settings. And then once you're in settings here, we wanna go to where it says accounts. Once you get into the accounts area, go to family and other users. You can see here, this account is running as a local account and it's also an administrator account. So click on the family and other users and then add someone else to this PC. Microsoft account window will open and then click on I don't have this person's sign in information. This is so we can set up just a, a local account rather than um, an online account with Microsoft. This will then go to the next uh, window here and it will start to uh, populate another window to sign up a, an account with Microsoft. Now we don't want to do that because we want to run a local account. So go down to the bottom here where it says add a user without a Microsoft account. Click on this one and this takes us to another window. Now the reason why we're doing this is because we don't want to be running as an administrator uh, all the time because that means malware can easily um, inject itself onto the system. So what we want to do is we're going to put in an account here called admin then we're going to have to give it a password. Make sure you give it a very strong password, something that you can remember. Um, I'm just going to give it a short one here because it's a tutorial. But if you try and push next, you're going to get this field is required. And this is your security questions. So you've got three of them you have to fill out and you have to put answers to these. This makes it a bit more secure. And this is why Windows have implemented these on their system. So you just have to give the answer to these. I'm just going to make these up. Um, so let me just go here and put something else in here. There we go. And we're going to put another one in. And we'll put that into the box below. So you can put whatever you like in here. This obviously will be secret to you. There we go. And then we can go next. Once we've done this, that's now set up and ready to go. And that's our admin account on a local account, okay? So we've got that bit set. Now we need to change this to change the account type to administrator. So change the account type and click on this one. And you can see it's a standard user. We want to make this administrator and then click OK. So now we've set up our administrator account as admin. Now there is one built into Windows, but I want to set this up myself. So we've got this one set up. And uh, what we're going to do now is move on to the next step. So we're going to close this window off and we're going to go down to the search box here and we're going to type in here control panel and then go into the control panel and then go to user accounts into user accounts again. And you can see here we've got that Brightec account as administrator and you can now manage another account. And what we want to do here with the Brightec account is change the account type and make this, it was administrator, but you need to make this standard account, okay? So now we've got the Brightec account as standard account, which is my main account. So this is going to be running as a standard account. So anytime we execute any files or anything like that, or try to install anything, it's going to ask me for my administrator password from my admin account. And this is what every Windows machine should be set up like, because without this, uh, malware will just get on the system, and because it's running as administrator, will just install itself. So let's log off and log into the admin account, which we've just created, and then this will uh, set up our admin account for us. So we need to log into it with our password. And this is going to be the, the account that you're going to be using to install any sort of software or 
any sort of permissions that you need to run on your main account. You will have to constantly put in your password and this can be a little bit of a, you know, a pain for some people, but this is the way you can securely set up your system. And uh, this stops a lot of problems uh, with uh, malicious malware and stuff like that getting onto the system. I've made videos on this in the past. You can see uh, where I've tried to infiltrate this system and malware just can't uh, control the system as much, um, you know, and start really sort of getting itself buried deep into the operating system files. It stops a lot of that because obviously we're not giving it permission. So let this uh, set up and we'll come right back. Okay, so that's nearly done now. All we need to do here is give it our settings. So I'm going to say no to all of this stuff because obviously this is the data collecting program from Microsoft. So it's pretty much no for all of this. And then the account should be set up. So let this uh, just uh, go through its paces here and set the account up for us. And then we can uh, give it a test. So there we go. That's all now been set up. So we've now got our admin account set up and all we need to do here now is go back to the original account. But before I do that, let me just go into uh, computer uh, management here. And what I want to do is just check to make sure that all of the settings here are OK. So go into the user accounts here. So you can see here we've got our guest account that is all um, disabled. I'm just checking, make sure these are all disabled. Everything here is disabled. And again, we've got the uh, Brightech account, which is my main account, which I'll be sort of using. And you can see here that is password set up there. That's OK. And next up, we've got the administrator account here, which is not the admin account, but the one that's built into Windows, which is the administrator account. Just making sure that's disabled. And there we go. That's disabled. And we've got our main admin account, which we just created, which is working. OK, so that's what we've got set up here. And uh, what we're going to do is go into our accounts and log back into the Brightech account. So this is the account that we're going to be using all the time. And uh, when we're downloading stuff and installing programs and things like that, this is the, the account that you'll use. Yours will obviously be your account. But let's go ahead and download a file here and go ahead and try to install the uh, program. And this is going to be downloaded. There we go. And I'll just download this to the desktop here. Now we can check the account here just to make sure that we are running as a standard user. So go to accounts and you should see the account that you've got, which is your main account. You can see this is a local account and there's no administrator on there. So we are running as a standard user and that's exactly what we want. So when I click on this file, you will see that it's asking me to put in my administrator password and I can now put the password in and it will let me install that program. Now the good thing about this is it gives you a, a little bit of more of a safety net when you're um, basically installing stuff. So if you clicked on a link and all of a sudden a file will come down, instead of running and installing it won't be able to install without the password and you will be authorized to put in your password you can say i never wanted to download and install that program and you can say no and that means the malware that has tried to infiltrate your system would not have the permissions to install itself now this is not 100 percent foolproof it's just another safety layer so let's just go ahead and uninstall now if you want to uninstall it it's also going to ask you for your password now, some people may find this a bit of a, a pain to keep typing it in, but this is how you stay safe. And this is how you keep your operating system safe. It stops people that are using your computer from installing stuff on your computer. And it also stops them uninstalling stuff. And we call this uh, layered security in the industry. So basically, you're building up layers of security. So your firewall is a layered security, your antivirus, and you just keep going through and you add layers in. And of course, this will protect you a lot more in the long run uh, from getting infected. Anyway, that's about it for this video. That's basically how you can 
Time up the security on your Windows operating system. My name is Bim Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this one helps you out, guys. I shall see you again for another video tomorrow. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.